all the way from Oklahoma. You from Oklahoma? New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, I live there now. It's like when you see a black guy with a hockey jersey on, and I'm like, hey, yeah, you like the LA Kings? No, I just like the shirt. I just like to have an Oklahoma. Woo! Oklahoma is number one in tornadoes <laughs> and divorce. Two ways to lose the trailer. <laughs> Parade of broken homes. <laughs> He's made money flipping houses. As for divorce goes, I did my part. Twice. Hey, what can I say? I'm a team player, boomer sooner. I was once a POW, prisoner of wife. I still suffer from PTSD, post-traumatic Suzanne disorder. <laughs> Suzanne was my first wife of 20 years. She filed for divorce on Martin Luther King Day. And all I could say was, free at last, free at last, they got all my damn free at last. <laughs> Just kidding. The courthouse is closed on Martin Luther King Day. She filed the day after. But you know, I was shocked when I found out that my home state, Oklahoma, ranks 45th in education. I said, really? Out of how many states? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We all know there's 55. <laughs> and some strange food. Oh, by the way, my daughter graduated in NYU. Uh, but before she went there, she was homeschooled by her mother. Who wouldn't get straight A's if their dad slept with the teachers? <laughs> <laughs> like I got started to say, it's a strange food in Oklahoma. Anybody here know what calf fries are? Calf, C-A-L-F, calf fries? How about Rocky Mountain Oysters, what they're also called? Yeah. Okay, anybody here speak Spanish? <laughs> Uh, cojones de toro. In other words, broke back mountain oysters. <laughs> Last time I was at the Cattleman Steakhouse in Oklahoma City, the waiter was afraid to tell me they were out of calf fries. He just didn't have the balls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't order calf fries. I have a nut allergy. When I eat them, I get a little testy. <laughs> In Oklahoma, they have a strange way of justifying their vices, too. They go to a marijuana dispensary it's for medical reasons. They go to a casino helping put Native American kids through college. They go to a strip club or helping put white girls through college. In Oklahoma, there's a long standing strip club called the Red Dog Saloon. And right next door, there's a dispensary called the Green Dog. I'm like, why don't they just combine the two businesses called the Stoner Boner? <laughs> we have doobies and boobies. And that's my time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Dr. K, everybody, and Dr. K. Uh, we've got Harold Rogers on deck.